Hello everyone, welcome to Rachis' channel, myself Karthik Ponnuswami. Today in this video we are going to look at what are separators in Java. So separators are nothing but these are the symbols which we are using in Java to uh, define the structure of a program. So what are those symbols? Let's get deeper into this. So there are some uh, symbols which we use in a regular program. Uh, every symbol has its own uh, purpose. Uh, let's see what are those purpose. So we are using a dot operator or uh, dot symbol which is used to refer the field or method and similarly we use a comma uh, which is to uh, you know separate the, the arguments which we pass it in the methods and uh, we have a semicolon which will be used in uh, end of the statements in java and as well as in the for loops and similarly we use this parenthesis which we use it for in both you know uh, conditional checking as well as in the method signatures uh, where we are using in the real time similarly we have uh, you know uh, the curly braces open and uh, closing curly braces which is used to define the block uh, in java as well as to define the values for an array and similarly we have uh, you know uh, the square brackets which we use to define uh, array as well as its values and we have this uh, greater than symbol less than symbol this is something like we use it in our uh, um, program where we want to pass some parameters and we have our uh, uh, sem uh, colon which we use it in our for loops so let's get deeper into uh, uh, you know each uh, symbol to understand where we have to use and what purpose so first one is dot operator so let's say dot so let's say in our regular java program if i want to print something right so i am using system dot out dot print statement so sys out if i see this one so what does it mean so system dot out dot print right so i want to see so here we used dot operator right dot symbol so system is a class if i uh, click on command and then if i mouse over it in the mac or control and mouse over it in the mac it will tell us like from where it is referencing so system is referencing from java.lang.system so it is coming from java.lang package which is a class which is a class okay if i go to this class then i can able to see this class and we have to see this out right so out is a variable um, out is a variable here so if i see here in a system class i can see this out is a variable so here so we are referencing the out variable of a system class with the help of dot operator okay and again we used dot dot uh, sorry dot println right so what does it mean so this out is coming from print stream class so if i go here to the print stream class again mouse over it so print stream dot class so here i should see this println uh, method right so let's say println so there are n number of methods that are written in this particular class so these all comes from java packages so let me control f and print ln so there should be a method called print ln yeah here you go so there is a method called print ln uh, with different uh, variables uh, arguments as well so basically we are referencing uh, using dot operator dot symbol we are referencing um, a variable out of a class system and similarly print ln is a method of a, a class print stream so here dot is used to refer both you know field as well as in methods so now let's go to the second one so comma so comma is used in the uh, separating the arguments let's say i have a method let's say i have a method called void uh, testing and in this i am having let's say int a comma int b so what does it mean so here i am referencing uh, here i am i am passing two variables right two two arguments to this particular method so wherein like i am using a comma to separate each uh, arguments so that is why we use comma is used to separate the arguments in a method signature so this is the method and this is the signature here we used comma to separate these arguments and semicolon is used in uh, you know end of the each statement so in java every statement we use a semicolon at the end and then we use it in the for loops so let's say i have a for loop so we have a detailed uh, video for explaining level about uh, looping statements uh, let's see like, let me just quickly go through the for loop for int i equal to uh, 0 um, i less than 10 then i plus plus so if you see here i am using uh, semicolon as well as uh, semicolon also in the for loops and we can use it in the terminate statement as well and uh, next one is um, parenthesis parenthesis is used to make a condition check so let's say condition check means let's say if uh, let's say true 
then um, let me print it as true so here we are using this parenthesis in the condition statement so condition statements are nothing but if uh, there is a true condition then we are uh, you know printing it as true so here we used parenthesis and similarly method signatures so method signatures if you see here there is a method where we have a signature without any arguments we used the parenthesis and similarly in our uh, testing method also we used parenthesis the next one is uh, open brace and uh, curly braces so curly braces are used to define the block if you see here this is a uh, let's say this for this if statement right this is a block right we used with the help of uh, curly braces similarly this far block also used to, uh, with the help of curly braces similarly this method is also defined with the help of this curly braces and si similarly here this main method is also defined with the help of curly braces and also we can use the curly brace in terms of array so let's say um, I am defining array as let's say string um, cars is equal to um, so here I can define a number of cars okay so I am defining car I let's say Audi and then um, BMW so here I am using um, uh, I am defining I am de I am defining a car uh, scenario in this car in this car I am making sorry and similarly we can use the curly braces in terms of array declaration so let's say i am creating an array called string array cars equal to within the open uh, curly brace and co closing uh, curly braces i am defining like uh, you know audi and bmw what does it mean is that uh, we are actually uh, defining the variable uh, values uh, or like audi and uh, bmw to the variable cars and then we can use uh, this uh, square brackets for defining array so basically here uh, uh, we use this uh, you know uh, 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 square brackets to define this car as array and similarly we can have get the value of this uh, array as in terms of uh, square brackets let's say sys out so here cars of so if i define the index here let's say zero then i will get the uh, rd as the output because here i am defining uh, the square brackets to to get the value of this particular array and then we have um, um, less than symbol and greater than symbol this is to pass a parameters so let's say if i want to pass a parameter to a particular method wherein i have to define uh, this one uh, in our real time program let's say string list um, list of string uh, l is equal to new array list of array list of so here here i am defining uh, let me see import we have to import the list from util package here you go so here i am defining this list l contains the type data type of uh, records of type uh, string so this is to uh, pass the parameters and similarly we can use a uh, colon to used in the for loops so in our advanced for loops we have colon so let's say for um data type a uh, string yes a uh, variable uh, in the array as cars right so here what we're doing is we have a string uh, car array where we have uh, i'm defining it as cars and a string yes colon cars what does it mean for every uh, variable in the cars uh, yes of type string so here we used colon for uh, to define it in the for loop so basically uh, it is very important to understand how we are using these parameters how we are using the symbols in java when we get deeper into writing a uh, program we should be uh, knowing uh, you know how we can use these param uh, you know symbols in java so if you guys have any questions regarding this video please post your comments in the comment section and please uh, you know uh, subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends if you guys like this video please hit the thumbs up button and um, i will see you in the next video uh, stay tuned for the next videos